So the real reason we actually decided to come out to Seattle today is because I did something that <laughs> I get so mad at myself for doing. I get so freaking mad at myself when I do this. Um, okay. Okay. Feeling good. Feeling good. Piper is not in the mood this morning. <laughs> She's ticked that we're going to the city. There's a, there's a ton of stuff you can do in Seattle that's cheap or free. And especially in October when it's beautiful fall weather, we're going to get ice cream. We're going to see one of our favorite parks and hopefully go to the Ballard Locks. We love the Ballard Locks. So this video is a really good example of a couple of fun things you can do in Seattle for free. I don't think we're gonna be spending much money besides on food. It makes for a really fun Saturday. city center today and it's it's a lot of fun there's a lot of fun things to do in this like area there's this really fun park right, right now and they have a big they have a big giant water fountain that sometimes choreographed to music I'm not sure if it's all the time but it's really fun especially on a really hot day so there's a lot of things you can pay for museums and obviously the Space Needle it's all very pricey so if you're here on vacation and you're willing to like get that wallet out like good for you for us today we're just coming to hang out and enjoy the nice weather um, so we're gonna see this and then we're actually gonna head out to Magnolia and Ballard to see some more of our favorites in Seattle Porter says there's vomit on the slide do you wanna, now do you want, it's not on the slide by the slide do you want to go see do you want to go come up here should I bring my wipes and go clean it up no, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna think I'm ice cream. Nice. I think the ice cream is open. No, we're getting better ice cream though. Yeah, nice. Was that fast? Yeah. So this is also where the Pacific Science Center is, that's really cool. This is also where uh, Chihuly Garden and Glass, so if you know Chihuly Glass sculptures, that's in this area. And then also this is where Key Arena is, the old, the old uh, famous like basketball arena. Climate Pledge Arena is right around here in Seattle City Center as well. So. big cities with all of our kids. We have five kids and I think a lot of people get really nervous visiting big cities with kids, but it's really not that big a deal. It's it's like visiting anywhere. You bring snacks, you watch out for people and cars when you're near streets and it's yeah. it's a lot easier than a lot of people think. It, it depends a lot on your kids. Like we don't have yeah. kids who are like runners or like mm -hmm. wanderers, <laughs> but like we do make sure, you know, everyone somebody's holding the, those kids hands when we're like by busy mm -hmm. streets and stuff like that. We give them pep talks like you know, we're gonna cross the street right here, so everyone be careful, or, yeah. you know, stranger danger type of things. And yeah, another big thing is that a lot of people think it's really expensive to visit big cities, but you can totally do it on the cheap. You bring your own snacks, bring your own food, maybe budget for like one meal or one treat, and you just visit all the free things. Kids just wanna go to a fun park, they wanna go to the beaches. Um, yeah. They love walking around, seeing big cities, and just feeling like the energy from the city, which those are the things we love to yeah. do. And it's really, 
fun. You guys should all do it. Yeah, one quick example of how we just saved like 18 bucks is the, the parking at the Seattle City Center is 20 bucks to park. But we know that there's like street parking around and we're here early enough, we thought we could get some. So I drove like a block up parked on the street, it cost $2.06, we saved 18 bucks instead of just parking right there. So we dropped the kids off there so they didn't have to do a big long walk. I drove here, ran back over there. Yes, totally yeah. good. So just stuff like that. Yeah, be smart. So the real reason we actually decided to come out to Seattle today is because I did something that <laughs> I get so mad at myself for doing. And I sent a package to our old house. I get, oh, I hate it so much. I actually wrote in the right address, but then at some point it auto like I it auto filled it with our old address. It was like, oh, I'm gonna change it so it doesn't send it to the wrong place. And then at some point it got switched up again. It, I have no yeah. idea how it did you it. You selected another field where it auto populated and yeah. then like did it probably just redid everything. Or something. Yeah. So anyway, so we're gonna go pick that up, and it's made for a nice morning out here. But I get so freaking mad at myself when I do this. But I do love coming and visiting Magnolia. It is the cutest little neighborhood Maybe he has in big pumpkins Seattle. Now. I didn't That's amazing. Oh yeah, we should go drive by the big sure. pumpkins. Nothing? No. Oh, just some ones out there. I don't know if you can see them. You can't. Oh, there's one. Pumpkin. There's one big one there, and there's a couple big ones back there. I don't see others. But they, you can't really see them with all the uh, sunflowers Ooh, in the like way. The but those are big sunflowers. Oh, yeah. so big okay. sunflowers, big pumpkins. I see it. Okay, here. Yeah, I'm getting it. Camera, and let them know that you. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. I was really worried that I would just forget we would be having it has so your name much on it, fun. You didn't take like one of their packages? No, I did not. <laughs> Ballard is a really cute neighborhood in Seattle. It has all kinds of really cute shops and tons of amazing food. And it's just very, very charming. We love to come here for salt and straw ice cream. Super fun. It's our favorite. And they've got just lots of favorites around here. There's even like a little movie theater that's really charming with really nice seating. Movie theater. Anyway, Ballard is a really great place to come to, to visit, very walkable. Um, they have a really great beach called Golden Gardens that we love to come to out here. Why didn't we visit So let's get some salt and straw. Let's get some ice cream. Frosting and a pumpkin spice ice cream. Black, black cat lic licorice and lavender. Oh, I want to try that. Smells so good. <laughs> Oh, and then that's the Mary and Berry coconut one. It's sour. Can I try it? Sure. You want that one? Yeah, can double I bubble? Yeah. You want to try that too? Can I, can I try two double bubbles? Yeah. Great candy copia. Great candy copia? Yeah. It's like a mixture of a bunch of candy it's like bars? all the different candy bars. Homemade. Okay. Thank you. We'll have to come back when it's a better Look, season. There's one fish. Oh, one fish. Perfect. Was it a salmon? Yes. Oh, good. Okay, so we're at the Ballard Locks, which is uh, basically a man-made structure that connects the seawater to the freshwater in Seattle, because there's an elevation change there. So the boats will come in and they'll get lifted up to the height. It's kind of like the Panama, the Panama Canal. We lift it up to the height of the other side or drop down. And there's a whole bunch of seals and sea lions here. This, there's also a salmon ladder for the salmon who are going upstream to spawn. Uh, so that they can make their way through. Okay, friends, let's make our way back across the bridge. Oh, I guess that's fun. <laughs> so this, so like, is fresh water. And this is, and this is good if you want to show people. Yeah. Like, this is how 
look how high the water is here, and then look how low it is here. It's actually even lower than this, because this is where they just had... Higher. Yep, so on that side it's all salt water and that's how they're going to go. Cool. Okay, so we're back from Seattle. It was a really fun, very successful day. Again, we have so much fun going into Seattle as a family. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to do for cheap. There's a lot to do for lots of money, but today we just did the cheap stuff. Um, and again, I wanna just like reiterate this, that kids do not care about expensive fun. If you've got a bunch of kids, but you wanna go do fun things in your local big city or on a trip or whatever, find the things that are worth your time and your money with your kids. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. We hope you like this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.